next one is a rapid, rapid and existing prosthetic. So the rapid appliance is uh, kind of a different thing. It's it's either from the surgical or we do an we do a rapid kind of like a delayed method or a patient walks in with a prosthetic that needs to be uh, redone. Uh, you can see these images here. Look how far the midline is off. Patient has a gummy smile on the lower one. It's an FP1 on the upper. Uh, it works best if it's an MUA level. Uh, implant level will work, but MUA level is what we generally work with. Patient comes in with really just about any situation uh, that you come across. And I took all these pictures, you know, full disclosure, most almost all these from the internet, but just to give an idea of what, what comes in the office and what you can do with it. Uh, and, and why did we develop the rapid appliance technique? Uh, because the traditional methods are tedious, uh, to say the least. Uh, you have an appointment for a stock tray impression, comes back for a custom tray impression, second appointment. The third appointment is a fit verification jig and maybe a screw down bite block, probably with us, a screw down bite block, maybe not. Try in on the bottom left. Right, so now we got now we're at four appointments. On the fifth appointment, we're if you're doing a traditional bar with over to any, we don't we don't do many of those anymore. But traditionally, that's what it would have been. So fifth appointment, sixth appointment is probably a reset, which could be even with some of these more uh, digital processes. And then seventh appointment, a final seating. So three and a half to four months, depending on the patient schedule. And what a hassle! I mean, I've seen spreadsheets on uh, the math of these of the of the cost of chair time, materials, doctor's time, it's incredible. It's barely profitable uh, at seven appointments. So instead, uh, do something else. We're, we're suggesting do something else that's quite simple. Uh, and this is one of the processes, but think about this. With almost all of our processes that we're gonna to show today, the patient is uh, provided a final restoration prototype on the second appointment. Right with with all these protocols, uh, the implant model, bite fit, aesthetics, tooth position, uh, all are confirmed on that second appointment. Uh, the team saves lots of time, appointments, expenses. Um, you can do other things on those on that, on that schedule. And then of course the patient gets to test drive the the prosthetic. So um, to to make a rapid appliance, the the materials are very simple. Uh, some type of flask. It can even be a denture cup doesn't have to be a, an official flask, something that'll hold stone. Uh, you'll need some stone, did not, did not add that here. You'll need multi-unit abutment analogs, uh, some lab putty, an opposing model of bite, and, uh, and then an impression of the tissue and the MUAs, and I'll explain it all. So I, I went through the whole process of recording what you do. So let's, let's just say patient comes in, it's a, a lower, I think I kind of, added upper and lower images into this full rapid um, uh, slide deck here, uh, just for, like, for the most effective pictures. Patient comes in with a six unit lower prosthetic and needs a new one. It's fracture, the teeth are worn down, whatever the reason is. Of course, this one looks nice for our, for our demonstration here. Uh, but what you'll do is you'll order uh, either from us, from the lab or from your, from your rep, order the multi-unit abutment analogs screw them into the prosthetic. Then once you have the prosthetic in hand with the, with the analogs, take your flask, fill it with stone, right? Till it's, till it's um, maybe three quarters full, set the multi-unit abutments in stone. And you can see, don't let the prosthetic touch stone. We're not trying to capture the intaglio of the prosthetic because it's probably a gap anyway. So you're not gonna, it won't, it won't tell us anything. So let it set. And then once it's set, what we want to do is take some lab putty. This is, uh, I believe this is Kettenbach material, uh, an accelerant and a putty, and just knead them together till they're one color, and then flask over the prosthetic. Put a little dimple in the middle that helps to make sure you capture the, uh, the intaglio, the lingual, sorry, uh, not the intaglio capture the lingual. Once it's set, about 20 minutes, take the flask uh, off of the model, whichever one comes easier, usually the flask comes out easier. And you can leave it in the, you can leave it in the denture cup too and ship it to us. Take the flask off. Now we have a negative of the prosthetic, but look what we really have. 
we have implant position, we have tooth position, we have a means of mounting the case because you're gonna send a bite and an opposing. We have everything we need to make a prototype. The only thing we don't have is the tissue, right? So what you'll do is you'll just, while the prosthetic is out, you'll take a polyvinyl or an alginate impression of the tissue and the multi-unit abutments just like that. No scan bodies, no analog, nothing. No impression posts, nothing, just that. Because we will digitally bring that into the case. And what we'll do with this is we will bring this into the software, little, little hole there. This was actually from an intraoral scan. This is where I wanted to show really how, how it looks in software. So we will take the, uh, the, the, the prototype and we will articulate it, the opposing, the digital, and then we will make a proposal for the final, which is the dark green here. We will email this to uh, the doctor and you'll approve it. Is that over jet okay? Is the overbite okay? And uh, you'll sign off on it. And from that point, we make the middle one, right? We make a, a printed try-in. It's monochromatic. Again, we can add pink. It's a lower. Patient can wear it home if, if, if you want them to. Otherwise, you're just going to do a clinical test and then simply physically send it back to us with the model work and we'll order you a, uh, a Procera bridge, just like that. And you're gonna critique these and say, wait a minute, these cases aren't the same, they're not. And I, I kind of warned that at the beginning, you know, to get the work, to get the full workflow is always kind of tricky with pictures. But the idea is that you make a simple flask, a rapid appliance flask, we make you a prototype, and then we make you a final. And it's very efficient. It's only three appointments, very accurate.